हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर मनीष राठी एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर महेश्वरी गर्ल्स पी जी कॉलेज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ई एफ एम इन आवर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द कैपिटल बजटिंग कैपिटल बजटिंग बेसिकली मीन्स इवेल्युएशन ऑफ एन कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर डिसीजन्स विच मीन्स दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इवेल्युएट द कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर डिसीजन्स दैन द टेक्निक विच वी यूज इन फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट इज द कैपिटल बजटिंग two things are important in capital budgeting for evaluating the capital expenditure decisions first one is the initial investment means the net cash outflow which the company is going to make for buying a particular asset and the second thing is the annual cash inflows means the asset which we are going to purchase uh, how much cash inflows we are going to earn throughout its life so first we are going to understand about the initial investment initial investment is also known as the net cash outflow in initial investment first thing which we have to take is the cost of the new asset in the cost of the new asset we are going to add the installation cost then we are going to add the insurance rate etc which we have incurred in purchasing the asset if there is any opportunity cost that is also to be added in the cost of the new asset and sometimes because of purchasing the new asset we have to invest certain amount into the working capital so if there is any investment made in the working capital that additional working capital required for this particular asset is also to be added from this we are going to deduct the sale value of the old asset sometimes what happen the company is already having an old asset that asset company is going to sell and company is going to purchase the new asset so we are going to let deduct the sale value of the old asset and if there is a decrease in working capital then all that is also to be deducted and if you are purchasing such an asset on which the government is providing any type of an subsidy or investment allowance that is the inflow for the company means that the cost of the asset is going to reduce by that amount so we are going to deduct the subsidy and investment allowance from this if we are going to do all these adjustments in the cost of the new asset we are going to get the initial investment or the net cash outflow which is the first thing which we have to calculate in the capital budgeting thank you